First, the presidential inauguration of Donald Trump, an historic day in our nation's history. Donald Trump addressing the nation for the first time as president about six hours ago. This is your day. This is your celebration. And this, the United States of America, is your country. Eyewitness News with in-depth coverage of today's presidential inauguration from protests and walkouts to what lies ahead for Rhode Island in the Trump presidency. First, we're breaking down today's inauguration festivities, including Trump's address and what actions he's already taken. And we begin our coverage with WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi. Ted. 58 times since the days of George Washington, a man has sworn to faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. Today, that man was Donald J. Trump. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. Yeah. At noon Friday, Donald Trump officially succeeded Barack Obama as president amid pomp and circumstance at the Capitol in Washington. Mr. President, what? how are you? Earlier in the day, Obama welcomed Trump to the White House and followed tradition by leaving a letter for him in the Oval Office. The forgotten men and women of our country will be forgotten no longer. Dignitaries, including Hillary Clinton Everyone and House Speaker Paul Ryan, watched as Trump delivered a 16-minute address that hit the same themes as his campaign, a pledge to fight globalization, crime, disease, terrorism, and more. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. Every decision on trade, on taxes, on immigration, on foreign affairs will be made to benefit American workers and American families. Rhode Islanders from both sides of the aisle were on hand at the inaugural, including Rhode Island Congressman David Cicilline. He told the news team at our D.C. bureau he was disappointed by Trump's speech. You know, the whole world is watching this speech, and if you listen to the way he described our country, it was very bleak and very dark. And we have challenges. We have a lot of work to do, uh, but I think it was overly negative. And in his first official acts, President Trump signed a bill to approve his defense secretary, sent formal nominations to the Senate, and proclaimed a national day of patriotism. And by his side, as he begins work, are two Rhode Island natives, Press Secretary Sean Spicer and National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.